Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me. This is a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory here at the jewelry store where I work and it helps me to be able to pick out the, uh, the primo listing items so that when I do have time to list, which I have had recently, I've had more time, I've been getting on eBay and putting things up and selling it too so that's great <laughs> who would have thunk it in order to sell it you have to list it <laughs> except for a few of my followers who uh my subscribers here who do reach out and purchase things through me directly and i want to give you guys a shout out thank you so much for that um if you haven't already click subscribe that way we can hang out again and we can do this some more. I'm uploading a video every Sunday morning. That's my plan at this point. And uh, if you click subscribe, you'll know when I'm doing that again. Uh, if you click the little circle icon with the two robots in love, that'll take you right to my channel. And I have multiple playlists of other hauls um, that you can watch as well. But let's get started with this one. I have two little goodies here. Uh, one of which is this little leather change purse pouchy do and a white box. So let's start with this guy since I'm already holding it. You can see whatever's in there has been in there for a while and been worn in place here. So let's pop it open. I already know what's in here, but now I'm going to show you and check it out. Binox. We got some Burke's Binox. Look at that. It's marked in the eyepiece there with uh, the Burke's name. And yeah, as far as I can see, they're working. Um, it looks like it could use some cleaning. I don't, uh, hopefully it doesn't need cleaning on the inside of the piece because I don't know how to do that. But oh, it's tight. It's really tight to move. There she goes out this way. Anyway, really cute. I don't know if you'd call those opera, like, uh, like lornette, like there's no holder, like a stick. I don't know. Does it have to have a stick to be, to be, uh, opera glasses, but it says made in France on this side and Burke's on that side. And I think that's pretty neato. All right. Little leather bag. Mm, here or how about just not in there at all let's do that there you go okay and then here is this long white box and then here we have some sparklies let's see first one is clear rhinestone flower and leaf design and let's see I don't see a mark right off the hop no, no mark, but it does sort of have like a, like it's yellowing. So that's unfortunate. I don't know if there's something you can do to, to take the yellowing away. I would be nervous to try and wash it, but I wonder if you could like give it a good soaking. I don't know. Makes me nervous. There's prongs. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you've had any luck reviving yellowing clear rhinestones and the other one in here one of the other ones is this little owl with black rhinestones and some cz's up on the top here i guess that would be a a great horned owl it's cute people like owls that's for sure and on the back no no name on the back either but He's pretty adorable. Can I make him stand up? Or maybe he can lean with the uh, <laughs> the glasses. Now, here you go, buddy. You stand on your own. Nice. Okay, the, and the last one in the box here is the butterfly. The very colorful butterfly. Nice uh, rhinestones on there. Lots of different colors. Some AB coated ones featured as well and some enamel paint very colorful oh there's one missing on the antenna and one of the eyeballs and up here 
Mm hmm, that's too bad. Darn. On the back here, oh my. I've had this mark a few times now, and I still don't know what it is. O T T O. Is it G? Is it a lollipop? I don't know. I've tried. I'll try again. I'll try again right now. It's probably from QVC, which is what we've had a lot of things in the last few episodes, I think, that uh, was purchased like on the Home no Shopping Network. And I'm guessing this brand is as well. But unfortunately, because we're missing so many stones, it'll go into a lot. Oh, well, that's how she goes sometimes. Here's a little baggie coming out of the same bag as... Well, the first bag that, I'm, that I've got to the side here. And we've got a pair of earrings. And they are a native design. I think a killer whale. Or orca, if you will. And they are signed um, by the artist. CW, I'm guessing. And these are most likely 14 karat gold. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? Yes, we've got a pretty good indigenous art uh, jewelry display going on here. And these ones certainly need to make their way into that display. They're small and simple and gold. Even though they're not marked, I almost guarantee you they're 14 karat. Almost all of the uh, gold native art jewelry that we have is in 14 karat. And that's, that's because of the softness of 14 karat. It's easier to carve. And then here we have a pair of earrings on a card. I'll take them off the card here because I think it's irrelevant uh, because we get this, we get these from different suppliers, but there is a cute pair of Bumblebee Jasper earrings. Bumblebee Jasper is one of my favorite stones. I think it's so pretty. They're, uh, the orange and yellow color come from sulfur, um, and bumblebee jasper in it's, it's that, it's not actually, um, toxic in this state, you know, to wear them as a polished earring like this, but bumblebee jasper is toxic when you're carving it or working with it. It can, uh, the dust can be uh, toxic for you. Uh, there's arsenic in it, I believe is the case, but they're 925 and they are marked AKJ, which actually makes me bring out the card they came on because they obviously are, uh, made by this person, Anna King. And yes, uh, Bumblebee Jasper. I love Bumblebee. It's so pretty and, uh, unique in its coloration. If you haven't checked out my TikTok that I have for the store where I work. Go on, go on TikTok and search World of Jewelry, and you'll see I have uh, I have a TikTok specifically on Bumblebee Jasper, uh, amongst many other stones. But those are adorable. They need to go out into the store as well. We have uh, we have a good display of Bumblebee Jasper as well, but we're always looking for more. Okay, here's a pair of amethyst earrings, amethyst and silver. Just a little tangled here, hang on. And here they are. Those are adorable, hey? I love the little faceted piece at the bottom. Nice big, almost, well, it's not Rivoli cut, is it? I don't think it is. No, I don't think so. But the faceting on that main gem gives it so much sparkle and texture inside. I love it. Look at that. Wow, <laughs> so pretty. And that says 925 China on the back. And they are super adorable. Can't go wrong with amethyst. I think everybody likes amethyst. And here's another amethyst pair from the same bag. These ones are a bit smaller. They're like this sort of a leaf and vine design. There's a little amethyst at the top 
a couple of CZs down in the leaves and then a large drop at the bottom in a round cut as well. And on the back side, nothing there, but I saw a mark on the back itself. It says 925. Let's check this other guy here. Oof. Oh yeah, there we go. Thailand, 925. Cute. Those are small, but also dangly. So for someone who doesn't like to wear a big earring like this, those little guys would work really, really nicely. Okay, next up, I have another pair of Native Design earrings. Not gold this time. Oops, in silver. And these are beautiful. Look at this. That's a sun design. And they're domed slightly on the back. You can see, I think that's initials, maybe SS, maybe, or is that just for sterling silver? I'm not sure. Uh, or is it the artist? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to find anything out about it either is the problem. But those are nice, aren't they? Nice and big, large circle. Set them up here with their gold buddies. Nice. Okay, next is a little velvet bag. And what do I usually get in these little velvet bags? I usually get pearls. So let's see if that's what we have this time. I'll just dump it out right here. Oh, how shocked are we? I have a lot of pearls in this place, don't I? Ooh, it's just one big strand too. Look at that. <gasps> How they're clustered up like that they have a nice peachy color to them oh and they're heavy and clacky and i'll just do a little rub test there just to confirm that they are real there's no clasp or anything oh and it's not actually clustered i see now it's three two two separate strands just twisted together that's really cool though it makes it super chunky and there's just so many pearls <laughs> and they're all that sort of uh oval shape those are gorgeous aren't they quite long too i'd say probably like a 24 inch okay let's put you over there pearl pile we got ourselves a pearl pile all right next up let's see here oh what is this well it's on a string which is like meh but look at this thing it's antler i'd have to say that's antler not bone mmm that's so cool the way it's bezeled around and then the brass design on the front and oh yes it opens and it has a little stick it looks perhaps broken yeah i think it's broken oh my okay I'm just tapping it out onto something off to the side to see if anything comes out but nothing has come out so we're gonna say it's for perfume and that's all anyone used it for perfume it's very cool though the it needs to go on a different like a chain or something but dang that's neato neato mosquito okay Let's see what else we have. Here's a little brooch with marcasite. This is so delicate and thin, really thin and uh, lightweight. It's got a thin C clasp. And I don't see any marks, but I'm sure it's silver. It, I thought it for a second that it was maybe a little warped, but I don't think it is. It's just really open and airy 
And I think that's nice. Open and airy. Oh, okay. I'm making a mess here. Hang on. Let's see. What's next? Oh, here's another brooch. Now this has like a safety pin style and tube hinge. It does say, let's zoom in here. Sterling Silver, England. And that, that's going to be a pretty old hinge there. Uh, hopefully I can tap into my hinge resources and find out more about that. But um, I'll put it up on the screen. But here's the front side of her. Look at that. You know what I think that is? I think that's butterfly wing. Do you think? Because it doesn't look like amylite. And it doesn't look like labradorite or anything else that has that kind of I don't know do you think that's butterfly wing I do I think it is butterfly wing <laughs> I don't know though hmm hopefully I can find something out about it it's got like uh you know it's like doublet style like it's got uh, a clear top on it wow hmm I don't know, but that's my best guess at this point. Hopefully future Michelle was able to give us a bit more information than that. Here's another pin, another brooch. It's a sword design and it looks like in the top here, a piece of carnelian or garnet maybe. I'm not sure. And what do you say? Sterling silver. Oh, and then some other stuff. That's difficult to see. I do have a polishing rag here. Let's just clean up that spot there and see if it's easier to read. Hmm, not really. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get a little closer for future Michelle. I might be able to find something out about it there, but yeah, here's the back. It's a uh, a C clasp again and yeah that's pretty ornate and cute and pretty and a lot of detail on it for being so twiny yeah that's nice really good okay next is another brooch and it is this silver filigree open work beauty and it's got this crown what does that say Monago, M-O-N-A-G-O, or Monaco, Monaco, duh. And um, yeah, on the back side, it has a trombone hinge, so that's quite old. And I don't see a mark anywhere, but again, I would assume that it's silver. Yeah, I would have to say it is. That's quite impressive. That's a lot of detail there okay let's see next up there's a bracelet a rhinestone bracelet clear rhinestones and um, it has a box clasp let's open that up it's a bit dark and worn maybe oh and I see a break here too I might be able to fix that if I could jam it back in there but without a name and without it being like a spectacular condition I would say that's going to end up in a lot as well but for now it's a strip of sparkly for us to add to the scene all right oh my gosh here's another oldie look at the back of this one tube hinge and c-clasp and I have to open it up to see what that says Norn 925s Norn n-o-r-n-e with an n capital n in a box and it is this guy porcelain I did look one of these up once upon a time when a customer brought it in and I just I can't recall at this moment uh, the details about it but I will put up some information of course but it looks like we've got some damage on this side 
Yeah, it's a bit gouged. That's an oldie as well, isn't it? Now let's put you over here. Okay, next up is this brooch. And that looks like a piece of polished garnet there. Leaf and vine design. And this says... Sassen Handmade Sterling. Hmm, I haven't... I don't think I've seen that brand yet. Sassen. But I, I kind of like when these chips are set, or I should say glued, down like that into... I kind of like that. Not fully, just kind of. This one is interesting. Look at her. Wow. That's a lot of detail for such a tiny... I mean, it's not very big. And uh, in her face, like... Yeah, that's a great amount of detail, I'd say. And I love all of the open work swirliness that's happening around her. Framing her there. It is a pendant or brooch. And it has a thin C-clasp there. And a mark for Sterling 925. Hmm, that's really cool. Kind of like, uh, I don't know. Inspired by Cameo, because girl face. Okay, next beside me. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. Teeny, weenily little lady. <laughs> There's marcasite around the outside, and it is like a glass cabochon with the image behind it. It's not um, porcelain, you can see. And it's so small. Look at that. Like a fingertip. And on the back, it's got a rollover clasp. It is uh, it does have a bail as well. And it says TLM, Made in England Sterling. And does it seem like you could take the back off? You probably could, but I don't think it's meant to. But yeah, that's... I don't know how old it actually would be. Um... I don't mess around with that, but that's pretty cute. Oh, no! It's missing one little marcasite at the bottom there. Well, depending on what I find out as far as value is concerned, I may try to fix that if it makes sense. Well, we're on a roll with old brooches. Here's another one. This one is a fork. <laughs> a little Cupid fork. Is that a Cupid? Maybe. Maybe. I'm guessing so because of the heart as well. But little fork down there and it's got a rollover clasp. And uh, on the back side. Let's see here. What does it say? It says Sterling Lang. I think that says Lang. Let's see if I can clean up that part there. Yeah, Lang. Huh. Old brand, obviously. Making forks. Cute little silver forks. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. What's next? Well, here's another one of these guys. Different image this time. Um... Oh, a different mark on the back, too, is it? Oh, no. Same one. Norn. So we have two of those. This one doesn't have any damage to the front. Kind of cool that uh, swirliness that's happening in the background. And it's kind of metallic, so it catches the light. Cool. I'll put you over here with your... With your buddy. Okay. Next up is another brooch. I see it. I'm grabbing it. That's just the way it's going this episode. But look at this. It's just a tiny little bar pin with, I don't know, lemon quartz or something 
along those lines. It has a wider C clasp. And there is a mark over here. Ooh, what does that say? Once again, let's clean up that spot so we can see what it says. Oh, <laughs> it says silver. <laughs> Very good then. I believe you. Wow, just a bunch of these like antique brooches coming out of here. So let's keep with the theme, I guess. There's one more sitting here beside me. And it looks like this. It's a ship. A filigree ship. With a little sail up on the top there. Nothing on the sail. I suppose a person could engrave that. And we have a tube hinge, kind of. And a rollover clasp. So let's see here. I think that's the same brand as that other one we were just looking at. Sasson, is it? Upside down. That makes it hard. Oh, that's tricky. Let me get my loop here. That one's really tiny. AG925 Italy. Huh. Let's try. Oh, it's hard to get in there. It's so tiny. Let's see if that helped. Hmm. Star 1044 VI Italy JP. Whew. That's a lot to fit on such a tiny little plaque. It's not very big. Not very big. Oof. I think my nails are too long, you guys. <laughs> I'm finding it difficult to work with jewelry, and we just cannot have that. Here's another little brooch, a donkey. A little donkey guy. And let's see on the back of him, Sterling by Coro. A little Sterling Coro donkey. He's cute, he's shiny, but he's a bit speckly. I wonder... I wonder if the magic cloth will clean him up. Let's see here. Uh, not really. It is what it is. Little donkey. Cute. Okay. Oh, here we have a necklace. Let's change up things a little bit here. Zoom out. So this is on a curb link. And it goes down to this piece here. Now, I'm starting to feel like they don't go together. But we've got some uh, rice pearl design there with leaves. And no, you know what? I think it does go together. It just seems a little bit strange, the combination. It's marked 925 down there. And up on the... Up on the here. What's it called? Clasp. We have marks, of course. 925, Italy, 925, something, something, something. Yeah, it's a nice chain. It's certainly not a chain I would expect to see attached to a vintage necklace like this. So it does sort of trigger me to think that it's been modified at some point. But who knows? Not me, apparently. Apparently. Okay. Next up is another necklace, actually. And it looks like this. It's like this bar with a gold accent in the center. The chain is... I don't know what you would call that. Here at the clasp, we have a name, I think. What does it... Oh! What does it say? Christian Dior. And here, Christian Dior, 925 Germany. Well, that can't be bad. That can't be bad at all. It's short and simple, and it's in great condition. 
So that's a good find, I suppose, hey? I don't know how to make sure that it's that it is what it says it is, but all we can do is hope. Oh, I see one more thing beside me that we're going to pop into the video, and that's another donkey. So now we have two donkeys. They can be donkey friends. <laughs> Adorable. Two Koro donkeys. Nice. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We got a lot of good stuff in here. Definitely going to get these native designs into our showcase here and the Bumblebee Jasper. I'm excited to see what we learn about these. Maybe sell them off as a pair. And what? Like, you know, like the only other time I see that glowing blue in here is when it's Labradorite. And it's definitely not Labradorite. So Butterfly Wing is the only thing I can... I can think of when it comes to that brilliant of a blue or maybe it's feather related like peacock like a piece of a peacock feather I don't know hopefully I found something out and I sh can just stop talking about it right now because it's already done <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you haven't already click subscribe so we can hang out again and do this some more uh you can click the uh circle icon to go right to my channel and see all my other playlists and yeah, other than that, I'll talk to you again soon.